This video is a demo of pulse width or pulse duration measurement. Using TM4C123 microcontroller. Programmable timer block. In this tutorial, we will use the basic timer block in input edge time mode. To capture rising and falling edges of pulses. For demonstration purposes, we will provide a pulse signal to one of the capture pins of TM4C123 TIVA launchpad from an external source such as Arduino. For in-depth detail and how to configure TIVA timers. In input edge capture mode, check the given in the description of this video. Now let's see the demo. For example, by measuring the time difference between the rising and falling edge of any PWM signal. We can measure its pulse width or pulse duration. In order to do so, when an event occurs on a GPIO pin due to a rising edge signal, saves the content of timer counter in one variable. After a rising edge, there will always be a falling edge of the pulse. Hence, when the GPIO pin captures the falling edge, saves the content of timer counter into another variable. Now the time difference of these two values will give us the pulse duration. Now let's see the demo code to measure pulse duration. This example code of Tiva C microcontroller measures the pulse duration of digital signal given to PB6 pin of Tiva C launchpad. It also sends the measured pulse duration to computer through UART5 module of TM4C123GH6PM microcontroller. This function captures consecutive rising and falling edges of a periodic signal using timer block 0 and returns the time difference. Now upload this code to Tiva launchpad. To see the demo and working of the this code, we will connect the PWM signal with variable duty cycle to the PB6 pin of TM4C123 TIVA launchpad. PB6 is a capture pin for timer 0A to provide variable PWM pool duration signal to TIVA launchpad, we use an Arduino Uno. Now make connection with TM4C123 TIVA launchpad and Arduino according to this schematic diagram. Also, make sure to connect ground terminals of TM4C123 and Arduino with each other. By default Arduino generates a 496 Hz PWM signal. That means the time period of the Arduino default PWM signal is 2.016 millisecond. This Arduino code generates a variable pulse width PWM from 0 to 100% duty cycle. An output of PWM appears on pin 9 of Arduino. Upload this code to Arduino using Arduino IDE. First select USB to serial converter COM pin. After that open serial monitor. As you can see the code is uploaded, now select USB to serial converter COM pin to which TM4C123 is connected. As you can see the pulse duration measurement output on serial monitor. Also, the time of mured pulse dirtation keeps increasing as the pulse width of PWM signal increases from Arduino. You will also note that after 2 milliseconds, it starts to display from 0 millisecond. Because the maximum time period of Arduino default PWM signal is 2 milliseconds. Thanks for watching this video. To download code, check the link given in the description of this video.